Hey guys, this is Arm Productions, aka Nano Force Turn 3, and I'm back in my Candy Love Part 15. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking two things, maybe. One, why haven't you made videos, Nana? What's up? And second, but it hasn't been so long since your last My Candy Love video. Do you really have enough action points? And the first answer is. I have a bad news thing. My computer is broken, as in screen smashed, not good. And uh, I haven't been able to play, be playing anything. And Nameless is about to crash, so I'm trying desperately to save that. <coughs> and the second is I the new computer I'm recording on is. Not something uh, that I can. I'm allowed to download any programs on, so I'll have to play something online. What is online? Two, three options. One, random sim dates on Divine Dot. Two, my candy love. And three, this game star project that was suggested to me. Number three, I tried and it didn't work. Great. Uh, so I'm gonna do this, and I only have like a hundred action points, so it's gonna run out really fast. This might be a really short video. I don't know, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's go. All right. So getting back into this, I can't really remember what we're doing. What are we doing? Uh, tell Castiel what you heard at the pajamas party. Tell Melody about the fan. Yo. Okay. Don't remember what was I telling Melody about Nathaniel. Something that happened off screen. I don't know. Maybe. Hello. Hi Iris, have you seen Melody? She went home early. I think she wasn't feeling well. Darn, I really wanted to talk to her. Why has something happened? Not really. Just wanted to tell me about Nathaniel. Oh, this is my favorite piece of music. Gonna enjoy this for a couple of seconds. Okay, I'm done. Did you even hear it? I don't know. It's the sound is confusing me on this computer. Uh oh, why did I go down? That's weird. Okay. Really Oh yeah, maybe I can help you. I like you, Iris. Do you know anything about his behavior when he was younger? Castiel said he used to be very something. Sorry, he didn't go to the same elementary school as they did, but if he did anything serious, it should be in his high school records. Uh, they keep all the teacher's remarks. That's not a bad idea, but I can't see myself going back into the teacher's lounge. The only one I know with a spare key is Nathaniel. I think Peggy can get, oh shit, into the room when she needs to. Maybe she can help me. You. I doubt she would help me. She's still mad about Melody's birthday party. Peggy isn't mean, you know. If you ask her nicely, or if you explain how important it is to you, I'm, sh I'm sure she would help. I'm not sure we're talking about the same Peggy, and we were quite rude and evil and mean to her, so I don't think... <coughs> Let's try it. I know you're mad at, at me about last night, but I really need your help, dude. Oh yeah? Too bad. You don't even know what I wanted to talk about. What do you want? I need access to the student files, and Iris told me you know how to get into the teacher's lounge. The student files? And I'm the nosy one? It's not the same. I'm not going to write an article about what I find. If you find something because, uh, because it is out of the question uh, that I help you, please, Peggy, you'll need to get some. You'll get something out of it, too. What will I? Uh, get out of this. You will have helped a friend? A friend? I have a little doubt. But if you tell me why you want to go, I'll think about it. That's out of the question. Figure it out yourself then. Uh, I need to find something next to convince her. Are you ready? Are you back to ask for my help? Please, I really need to go. Ask your friend Nathaniel. He has the extra key. I can't ask Nathaniel because it concerns him. Oh, you're interested in the student body president? Why? Why do you want to know? It doesn't concern you. Too bad for you. I'm getting the feeling that I'm going to have to tell her everything if I want to get into the teacher's lounge. 
Okay, I need to search through Nathaniel's school records because he won't admit that he was worse uh, than Cassia when he was younger. Normally any trouble he got into it would be recorded in his files, I have to read them. You are worse than me. There's no need to look at me like that. Alright, I'll take you. I have to go anyway. Uh, something's going on and I haven't found out about it yet. But listen, you can <coughs> only look at the files. There's no way you're going to get a whole, a whole of a scoop for me. I have no intention of looking at anything else. Should we go then? Right now? Are we going to wait until the school's empty? I saw the principal at the other end of the hall. Trust me, we'll be fine. Let's go. I don't have all day. She grabbed my arm and pulled me all the way to the teacher's lounge. We're, we're gonna get caught. Just like she said, no one's around. The, the records are here. Do what you have to do and get out of here fast. You'll get into trouble if anyone sees you. What about you? I'll think of some excuse if someone comes in. She gets, seems to be pretty confident. She must be used to getting caught without getting into any trouble. She's going to get the teacher, isn't she? Like, as revenge. I looked everywhere for Nathaniel's file in the cabinets while Peggy was snooping around. When I finally found it, I had a quick look through random remarks made by his elementary school. Satisfactory grades, but student misbehaves too much, spends his time disturbing the class, and is out of school control during recess. What? What did you say? N nothing, I was just reading out loud. This time I have you. You can't lie to me anymore, Nathaniel. I left Peggy alone in the teacher's lounge, like she asked me. I need to have a little conversation with Nathaniel. No, I want to talk to Castiel. Castiel! Oh, God. I saw... What are you doing on Castiel's spot? Oh, he really hates me. <laughs> I saw the teacher's remark in your school file. That's no use lying to me anymore. We are a bit of a bitch, let's be honest here. It's a bit bitchy to do that. <laughs> I have no choice. Do you understand what you've done? This is very serious. Those are confidential. You can't lie to me. I wouldn't have been forced to. It's your fault. There's no excuse. There really isn't. So, why didn't you want to admit that uh, that you weren't always the stu perfect student delegate? Because I'm not particularly proud of that time in my life. And then he should be able to lay it behind him, but what about- Oh, come on, we all misbehaved when we were little. It wasn't just misbehaving. What did you do then? What happened? Sorry, that's none of your business. Did you that all for nothing? I wonder what really happened. Oh, Cass, hi! So, did he talk? No, he wouldn't tell me anything. That must be aggravating. You don't have to rub it in. Come on, don't let it get to you. I'll tell you myself what happened. Thanks! You couldn't say so before? I thought it was funny watching you looking all around and coming up with nothing. He gets on my nerves. He really doesn't. It's a pathetic story. Nathaniel picked on his sister all the time. Who, who knows why? <coughs> he really go at her, and he would really go at her. And once, when they were in the park, he ripped her favorite doll apart. Nathaniel. Yeah, Nathaniel. I was at the park too, and Amber wouldn't stop crying. It was really annoying. Uh, you can't imagine, so I fixed her doll, and just have some peace and quiet. I can imagine Castiel doing that. It was so nice, even if he has had his own motive. Why am I seeing a CG of Amber? But little Castiel is adorable. Hi, little Castiel! Uh, since then she won't leave me alone. Weird, huh? I wasn't joking when I say girls fall in love at the drop of a hat. It was her favorite doll. She must have been very happy that you repaired it. That's what I said. It was a nice little story, but I've had a hard I have a hard time imagining Nathaniel acting so bad up to someone and Castiel being so nice. They've changed a lot growing up. But Castiel is nice in his own way. Here you are. You'll never guess what I found out. Have you been snooping around all this time? Yes, and I saw something very interesting. Something big being is being planned planned. It's a bit it's for a bit it's for a bit later, but it's going to be great. What is it? I'm not telling you that. You lied to me after all, but since I'm in a good mood, I'll tell you something else that's coming up. What what is it? It's Rinder's rule in the next episode. Oh now I'm curious. Summer vacation's almost here, but you've forgotten about your uh, Are you serious? Fucking exams. Okay, I'm not going to tell you that, that, that.
It's an orienteering event. What why would the school organize something like that? It's a com it's the competition the competition is going to be open to even people from outside the high school. And as there is going to be an entrance fee, the school will be able to raise funds for something else. Oh, come on, you can tell me a bit more than that. I already told you about the competition, that's enough, I think, and I'll enjoy knowing that you'll spend the whole vacation wondering what's going to happen. Ha! I don't think that's funny. Ha, vacation? Good grief, I totally forgot the vacation sp starts tomorrow. You forgot, didn't you? N no, not at all. Well, yeah, I did. You're an airhead. We're all taking the ca we we're all talking vacation. No normal student would forget about that. A lot has been going on recently. I didn't even I wasn't even concentrating on classes. Oh yeah, classes. That reminds me, I'd better start studying. It'd be about time. Studying? Why? She already left. I don't know why she told every if she told anybody about the interior agreement, but I want to tell the other students to see what they think. Maybe someone's already done one before. Cassio! So, did you convince Peggy to help you? Yep, so I finally got to ask Nathaniel my questions. You see, I told you she'd help you if you explained what it was for. Yeah, I really have to insist, though. She let me in on something, though. The high school is going to have an Ontario event. Really? I heard Peggy talking about some big event that I didn't think it was going to be that. That? According to her, there's something else, too. This is just a way to raise funds. That's great. I wonder what the other event is. Me too. Cassia! Hi. <laughs> You'll never guess. What? Try to guess. No, come on, spit it out. <laughs> the high school is going to have an Ontario. I don't even know what it is. Orienteering at whatever event. Oh yeah? That's not really the kind of thing I go for, you know? Aw, oh, you ruined my life. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know which choice this would be. And then uh, he said, that's not really the kind of thing I go for, you know. But it should be great. I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun. You get all excited over nothing, don't you? You have to admit it's pretty cool. It's not really my thing, but I guess it could be worse. Okay. Just make... Oh, shit. Oh, you got the walkthrough. I'm using a walkthrough. <laughs> Busted. Uh, no, not really. I'm using it uh, for the choices I really don't know, but I didn't really find one for this one, because I don't want to lose, but I only started using it this episode. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, don't really know what to do now. Oh, I heard something. The school's going to have an orienteering event. I don't even know what it is. I'm going to call it a blah event. I don't like competitions, but it'll be fun. I don't think so. The uniform's always so ugly. Is that her only reason? By the way, did you talk to Amber? Yeah, you don't have to tell her what you heard. I only told Amber. I imagine she told a lot more people. Hee <laughs> hee. Wait, no, not that. Can you leave me alone? I have to study. You must be realizing the exams are coming up. Please? Ew. I don't know. Yay! I'm going home. I don't like that sort of stuff. Like what? You haven't even noticed everyone is acting a little weird lately? No, not really. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be quite amused tomorrow. I have a bad feeling about this. What is it? He's talking about the exams because we're stupid as fuck. I just heard something really cool. More no gossip about me. <laughs> no, it doesn't have anything to do with you. The school's hosting and something event. Really? Yes, it's to raise funds, I think. I'm glad to hear it. It'll be a chance to see uh, other outside the school. Still haven't noticed anything weird. Now I really have a bad feeling. <laughs> My meter with Castile is just too bad. Too low. I don't even know. Well, it seems like I'll have to end the episode here. I will see it. Wait, can she borrow notes? Why do you want them? I don't know mine. Ah, huh? I found the notes. Don't worry. Okay. Can you finally realize it's the fucking exams? Never mind. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.